Yes, yes, welcome to another City Extra video. Today we are previewing the upcoming game at the weekend, Fulham versus Manchester City. It's a big one, three games left in the Premier League. Um, obviously, we're all nervous about the game on Tuesday, but we're not focusing on that right now. We're focusing on the here and now, this coming Saturday, early kickoff. Jordi Pordy, how are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> I'm not That's I'm, just the answer now to yeah, the game, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not as nervous as what I think I should be. Yeah, I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm more no like like you just said. Then I'm more nervous for Tuesday, but you've still got a game ahead of you. Yeah, like it, we, you can't get too far ahead of yourself. If we lose tomorrow, it could be all over. Like I've not struggled in quite a while. I can't really remember a specific example of struggling to like focus on the game at hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. I feel like City have always had such an elite mentality. We're, we're very good at that. Only what's in front of you, and I reckon the play still will be because. Yeah, yeah, they have they're, to be. They're Pe elite. Pep will be making. But I feel sure. like even the fans have always like. I, I, I don't know. Like I feel like I've had conversations in the past with people in previous years, or maybe this season. And like, oh, you've got Arsenal in three weeks. What do you think of that? I'm like, I don't care. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on this right now. Yeah, that's too far ahead. That you yeah. need to think about now. Or like, oh, your next game after this is that. I'm like, I'm just City take it one game at a time. So do the fan base, but it's it's just hard not to think like, about Tuesday. It's. It's a full and preview. All we spoke about it's, Tuesday so far. Yeah, <laughs> which I, th I think shows it all. I think that, that, yeah. that's. I mean, a lot of people who are watching like a full and preview, they'll be doing the same thing. They'll be yeah, sat there yeah. thinking, "Take my mind off Tuesday. <laughs> Tell me things about Fulham." And instead, we're going Tuesday, 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 <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's his name? Sketch. Sketch. Yeah, yeah. It's Sketch. Yeah, it's yeah. Some line, isn't it. He's he's been warning us the entire time. Yeah, he knew. He, he was knew. an NPC sent from above. <laughs> it's the NPC to warn us about Tuesday. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, well, look, we will. We will try our best to stay. Uh, you know, stick to Fulham. Stick to stick to Fulham. Um, but you know what is giving me a, a bit of confidence. <laughs> it's such mixed emotions at these time. At this time of the season, especially when it gets like three games left. Like I feel like we start speaking about the running probably with like ten games to go, mm -hmm. and then obviously it goes without saying, but it gets more nervy and more nervy, and every. F like game starts to feel more and more like a final. It's like, okay, well, we've got past that and now we've got this and that feels even bigger in magnitude. Try not to psych myself out. But the, the one thing that is encouraging me is our form at the moment. We're in good form. We're playing good football. Yeah, yeah, we actually, we, we, we look good. I know like, obviously getting us out of the Champions League and that was never like a, a thing that I wanted to see in that. But I, uh, I think we're in good form at the moment. I think we look like we're scoring goals. I, I think, yes, Clean sheets are still, I mean, it's a little bit I think weird. we've just got to give up, give up on clean sheets. Clean sheets ain't in this year. But uh, that is, is what it is. I think uh, it's a good place to be going when you're in good goal scoring form. I think we could do bits. I do think the goal uh, goal difference, all that conversation. It's gone. It's out the window. I think, I think they're only seven ahead of us. But seven in three games, I mean, it's quite a lot. But you, I think we'd need... We need, we need to, to panel. We we need to batter Fulham. Yeah, we need to, we're talking like five nil. five nil against Fulham, and then United. And either batter. obviously, well, not even batter, but like even if they could hold them to a one nil, yeah, that yeah. would still bring it, us. Within it brings like it within three, the realm of like possibility. Though, three goals, you know I mean? yeah. Which um, I, I I think that'd be good. And we'd then have a game in hand on them. So we'd have the yeah. Tottenham. So then we'd just need to score another four against Tottenham. And then <laughs> in, it'd, be, in, it'd be great. In, in, in a ground that we're very famous for scoring loads of goals. Loads on, you know of I mean? goals at <laughs> so It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, but for me, goal, goal, goal difference conversation, no, I don't really think about it too much. I, I just yeah, think about think, winning our games. Yeah, I don't think we're going to pull back the goal difference. No. I, think we, I think we might score goals against Fulham, mm -hmm. maybe against West Ham. I'm not going to say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but... I think Arsenal will also score goals. I agree. Like I, I, I don't want to look to United for favours because honestly, the way that I saw them play against Crystal Palace, uh, like get me Morecambe. I'd I'd back them <laughs> to keep a result against <laughs> Arsenal more than United at the moment. Well, United look like they've already checked out. They they look done with this season. They look out of it. They look like yeah, we can't be asked. I mean, they've looked checked out since day one, but. They just don't look it. I, I, I have. I think Tanag gets sacked as soon as end of that FA Cup final. Tanag sacked. Yeah, and I, I, I think he, I think he and the players know that, which is why yeah, I think that's why everyone's yeah, that's down in tools. Mean. They've clocked out. Yeah, hundred percent clocked no, that's out. That's on the beach. Like no, not a single, not a single one of those players at the end of that four 0 
looked arsed. Yeah, no, they don't care. Do you know, they were literally just walking off me like... Do you, know what, do you know what could be a little bit of peak uh, shithousery from United all 10 out of? What? It's just before he goes, yeah, he's like, this weekend or next weekend, recalls Jaden Sancho from his loan. <laughs> Imagine. He recalls Jaden Sancho <laughs> from his loan just before Champions that League final. Be, that, that would be immaculate. Just, that would just as like be so funny. One last, like, F you to Jaden Sancho as he's yeah. going. Yeah, but, a conversation for another video. This maybe when we do our like England team for the Euros, but like, could there be late shouts for Jaden Sancho to get on the plane? Just a yes or no. Like, yeah, I reckon there could be. Could yeah. be. Could there, be. It's, it's Southgate. Anything's possible. Anything's, <laughs> Anything's possible. possible. Anything's possible other than Tamori. Anything's that possible. Team. Aaron Lennon getting on the plane. <laughs> Aaron Lennon, Jay-Z's is like, yeah, sign me up. Jermaine Defoe's like, you know yeah. what? I fancy it running around again. I fancy it, boys. Yeah, run it back. He's still holding back. We're getting the band back together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, looking at Fulham then. So I've got our record against Fulham and I must say, not to uh, curse it or anything, but it's pretty impressive. So, last five games against Fulham, all been, been wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, five one at home last season, two one away, two one at home the season before. Um, played them in a cup, FA Cup four one, and then three nil away. So that's that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's kind of, that gives me confidence. Man City haven't lost a game to Fulham in any competition since the twelfth of April, two thousand and nine. Wow, mm-hmm. not lost a game. Wow. To We've not dropped points against Fulham since 18th of September, 2011. For some reason, I feel like that game was 2-2. I feel like it might not be. Oh, no, I'm thinking of a Swansea game. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. Uh, one, one. But that is, uh, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah, that's, 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 that should be giving. I know some people go, oh, but when you read it out, it curses it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. Get, I get why some people don't like it, but... That should give you confidence going into this weekend. Yeah, but Massive our, confidence. our record against them is 40 wins, 16 draws, 17 losses. It's a pretty great record. And obviously, you know, that, that goes, I mean, if, if I look at it, that goes all the way back to 1908. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but sort of recent times, yeah, definitely dominating the period. So, Good. something, to be, something yeah. to be confident about. I mean, Ful, Fulham... Fulham Fulham have been good this season. Good in parts. Yeah, good in parts. Good in they've parts. Had like, they've had parts where you kind of like looked at Marco Silva and they had like, I think a period first half of the season where it was like, Phew, these look like they could be like challenging for like your own yeah, conference yeah, league yeah, spaces. They, did, like, they, they look really good. And then the form sort of like fluctuated a bit. But they've still had big wins recently. Obviously beat United. Or Drew, Drew United? Did they beat United? Oh, did Bruno Fernandes get last minute like equaliser? I want to say that they beat know. United, but I could be wrong. I don't um, keep an eye on United's results that much, to be honest. But like, like you're saying, though, obviously they lost, uh, what was that, um, the guy up top, Mitrovic. Lost Mitrovic, and he's, he's a bagsman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously losing him, you're thinking, oh, maybe maybe they'll struggle this year for, for goals and that, but... I mean, the, uh, the recent well. form in the league is one winning five. Not great. And that came... Um, oh, wait, no. One, no, two wins in five. Bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Two wins, two draws, though. Oh, it's, it's, it's getting better. It's getting We've better. We've gone from one win in five to two wins, two draws, and a loss. I'm clearly very well prepped for this video. <laughs> I just looked up Fulham results. So they've gone 0-0 against Brentford, 1-1 against Crystal Palace, 3-1 loss to Liverpool, 2-0 win against West Ham, 1-0 loss against Fulham. So actually, sorry, I do retract what I said. One win in the last five, two losses, two draws. So we've gone down a bit. Yeah, we've we leveled it off. We a started bit. here, went a bit there. Yeah. Oh, there it's there. And oh, we've, oh, no. <laughs> we've leveled it off. But um, yeah. yeah, fluctuating form. I guess, I guess that's what That was the big like. result that they got recently, was they beat Tottenham 3 0. Oh, that is what they got. Yeah. 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 That yeah. was it. And then they've not even played United that recently. It was February. And they beat him. They did beat him 2 1. Uh, yeah. Clearly a big Fulham follower. <laughs> I mean, they've got they've got some good players in there. Obviously, that Polini is in there. Uh, a player that we we've been after for, or uh, rumored to be after since last summer, um, as an alternative in the CGM spot. Apparently available for forty mil. I know that Bayern Munich I as well, but yeah, I don't think he'd take it. It's it, it all depends. It's so hard trying to find someone who'd be like willing to pretty much just play like 10, 15 games a season. The Calvin Phillips curse has like has yeah. really made it even worse. You for pretty much players. got to find someone where it's like 
they're they're good enough to play the position. So mm-hmm. like they've got to be better than Calvin Phillips. They've, you know what I mean? Like you can't you you've got you've got a Venn diagram really, haven't you? You've got players who are willing to play ten to fifteen games a season. Bearing in mind that most of those games will be Carabao Cup, early stage FA Cup, and then like the odd Tuesday night game in the Prem. You know, like perhaps. And then on the other side of the Venn diagram, you've got at, like actual ability. Like yeah. they've got to be better than Calvin Phillips. <laughs> yeah, like they've got. If you're going to play for Man City, like you've got to you've be, got to be good. Good. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. world class. Like you've got to be. You've got to competent. Be t- we have a standard that we set. That and, you have and to those be like two that. things like have to cross over, and we have to find the player. And like, yeah, you've got to find that middle point. That right? middle point, which is very hard to do. Him. I mean, I think it's Joshua Kimmich. I think it's Joshua Kimmich. I think that's that's the perfect option for us. Because um, because the versatility in there it is it's that's the thing is Joshua Kimmich t- goes from a player who would play fifteen games a season someone who probably play like thirty because he'll cover both like right yeah back, the, the versatility helps CDM. him out. Yeah, that, that, he'll end up playing centre back at some point when yeah, there's an yeah, injury yeah. like he's very versatile mm-hmm. so whether it's Kyle Walker or a right back that we bring in whether it's injuries to centre back whether it's left back at some point whether it's CDM like he can play in a lot of positions so. I, yeah. hope, I hope it's Joshua Kimmich. I, I, I hope it's Joshua Kimmich. So, um, score predictions. What are we saying? I'd love to just go 3 1 again because it's it's always a safe bet 3 1. Uh, right. I'm going well, to myself can't on 3 1. Yeah, For the I'm, rest of the season, actually. Yeah, I'm banning myself on 3 1. That includes ones. the FA Cup final. I think we win 2 0. 2 0. Clean sheet. Back in it. It's got to happen. I'm playing the odds game. I, it's got to happen at some point. I'm going to go 4 1. Right, that I'm saying I, f- I feel like we're scoring goals. We are scoring goals. Like you know what I mean. They I feel good. like Harlem might get another goal. And Harlem looked good the other day. Guy would look the guy that switched on. Yeah, obviously got himself four goals. Man, I, he could be back now. He could be back. We'll so. see. And I, I need Foden to bag a few more just to secure Player of the Season. Yeah, I'd love to go like for like a full starting eleven kind of thing. But then I think it, it's very it just kind of picks itself now. It's it's just our strongest team. Well I mean let's do it quickly. Edison in there. Edison in there. It will be Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker right back. I think Center I mean back. recently though he's been going to Kanji and Ake, hasn't he? But that's been yeah, Kanji Ake. Yeah, yeah, but it has looked good. But if it's not broke, don't fix it. Or do you think if I'm wanting to bring in like a Stones and Diaz for the Tottenham game, do you bring one of them in now? Mm, yeah, that's a good choice. Like maybe a Stones. <laughs> Diaz 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 has had a a rocky season. A rocky season. I feel like it might have a little fallen out a little bit of the pecking order. Yeah. Um, and if we're expecting them to just, like, do you know what I mean, low blockers, I'd love a ball playing centre back over Diaz. So because you'd go Stones. I think I'd go Stones. Stones and Ake or Kanji? I'd go Ake per. Stone, I, I'd go because Stones, Stones Ake, the right. and then Vardio. Yeah, that's what I mean. But, like, yeah, I'd have, like, Stones and Walker on the right hand side. Yeah. Ake and Vardio on the Ake, left. Ake, Vardio, yeah. CDM. <laughs> Oh, who's oh, that? I wonder. Calvin Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Jodry Kimmich. Recalling from his loan. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Rodri. Um, centre mids or, or attacking cams, whatever you want to call them. Um, I mean, KDB. KDB will play. Uh, now the other one is... Yeah, I think Bernardo. For grabs there. Yeah, Bernardo Silva. But then in our last game, we played with no wingers. We didn't play with any wingers at all. We used Vardiol and Walker as the wingers. Like a full I love how you said wingers. two minutes ago the squad picks itself, and it yeah, now and now it's doesn't. now now it's it's gone out made because the lack of wingers in the last game worked really well. My, my prediction is Bernardo is going to play, so I think put him in that. We'll put, put him, him in, in this team bit. in the in the eight position with with Kevin Rodri. Yeah, I, I think personally it'd be Bernardo, Foden, Grealish, Haaland. Yeah, or maybe Doku over Grealish. No, I think I think it'll but, be I think. It'll be Grealish. Yeah, I, I think Grealish think that'd be good. I think Grealish will start all all three of the remaining games, and Doku will come on and make impacts. Like I, I think Doku will be. Hopefully, I'm really, really hoping this is the case. Again, not trying to speak too much about Tuesday, but really pivotal in that game, in the same way that he was in like the Champions League games against Madrid, in just like coming on and changing things. An impact player, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you can like, switch it up. Grealish got hate for it. You know, people being like, "Why do we not start Doku?" Because Doku came on and was electric. It's like. You almost need Grealish to like lull plays into a sense of like it's almost they, like a security of like yeah, oh, we know exactly what you're going to do. Because the thing is, is they're so different that you spend sixty minutes defending against Grealish, who you know is going to keep the ball at his feet, like as in mm. it's glued to him. You're baiting fouls. You you like do I get close? Do I not? Like you're going for those kind of tackles. And then you bring on Doku, and it's I've got to turn and sprint. Yeah, no, it's, it's like it's, all it's, of a sudden it completely changes yeah, from yeah. like 
looking a man, looking your defender straight on and constantly jockeying and shimmying and maybe putting the odd foot in and you know what I mean? To then just like, I've got to turn and run and turn and run, turn and run and I've yeah. got to be like over this shoulder and that shoulder constantly because he's turning inside now. I just think if you're a defender, like it, it startles you. So I actually think that Grealish starting is the best thing for City, is the best thing for Doku because then Doku comes on and like, he almost has like a sleepy defender in front of him. I I I think it's to, we have we have that luxury now that, that having Docu is that change. Yeah. There's so many times like past past seasons where we've gone, oh we, we we there's no players that we can bring on to change the style or anything that we're gonna do going forward. Whereas Docu is one of the players he'll change the way that we go forward. So yeah, about that about that Grealish and bringing on Docu that'd be sick. I, I think that team does win comfortably. We'll see what happens. Um, right, we'll be we'll be back um, with more videos after the Fulham game. Hopefully celebrating a win. Uh, if, if you're obviously watching this before, which hopefully you will because it's a preview, um, tune into the watch along. Um, we'll be live from half 11 on the day of the game. Um, obviously, go oh, through. Oh, I just forgot it's an early kickoff. Oh, that stinks. You forgot? What, no, what, it, it stinks because half it's 12 kickoff, kickoff, never yeah, back, the, never early back kick the early kickoff. And also, it's not even <laughs> not even because of the early kickoff thing. I don't know what it is with half 12. I always feel like City is shit on a half 12 kickoff. And it's, it's factually not correct. It's actually not correct. We won like four nils back to back on half twelves, but for some reason, I hate them. I hate them. Oh, I can't believe that. Well, all the more reasons to tune in at half eleven on Saturday uh, for the watch along and see Geordie having a disaster class. Yeah. Not Man City though. We're gonna win. Um, we'll see you there and uh, see you on the next one. <laughs>